Welcome to the channel. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Today I am reviewing this Suges S423. Now I am genuinely excited to be reviewing this watch for you guys and I am extremely impressed with how well Suges have done this watch. Now I unboxed this watch a few weeks ago, maybe it's been about a month or so. And within the unboxing, you know, just looking at the watch in hand, I knew this was going to be a special watch. Now, going through the review, I've seen features a lot closer uh, and I've had a chance to really get my hands on this. And i got to say, it's probably Suges' best made watch. I know it's a homage. Um, it's homaging the BP Air Command. So any kind of design features and how, you know, the design is and the aesthetics, you know, all the credit will go to the original watch it is homaging. However, it's all about the execution. Uh, they have executed this watch, you know, flawlessly. Uh, it's made so well and you know what they've done what they've given us for the price point of around 210 pound is absolutely fantastic so in the unboxing i did cover specifications and measurements so i won't be going through those i'll put them up on screen for you guys this is a st1901 mechanical chronograph movement as is suges's forte and as i said it is suges's best made watch there's some amazing features on this now it's done extremely well on you know all the main features and i'm going to start off with the dial as i usually do you've got a very deep black sunray dial you can just see under the light how those kind of rays expand out towards the outer of the dial and that's been combined with a white on black printing for the logo the text and the printed outer and inner timing scales now they have preserved dial symmetry with this by using two sub dials uh, a 60 minute timer to your right hand side and a seconds to your left and they've stuck with a no date version again you know focusing on that symmetrical look and they've also made this watch extremely legible by using these syringe style solid white hands now even the length of those hands is perfect you'll find that seconds hand hitting that outer timing scale and that minute hand sitting on the inside of that minute track and going back to my point it's all about the execution so many times we've seen homage brands you know the hands are too short the colors aren't right you know the dial setup isn't right but I think they've looked at the air command and they've took everything, but they've done it just right. Now the Arabics, you've got this layered loom application uh, that we see on quite a lot of watches. And you notice this sort of fluorescent yellow tinge uh, to the hands, the Arabics, and on that bezel. Because in fact, everything is loomed. Now when you get to the loom, this is very high quality loom on the dial and the bezel. It's comparable to dive watches. It's got amazing longevity and amazing brightness. And it is one of the best loom I've seen on a watch, never mind a pilot watch. They've applied plenty of layers uh, and it might not even be that. It's just a very high quality loom. Let's have a look at that bezel. And you also got a sort of coin edge style bezel. Uh, and this is 24 clicks. Now, when we rotate this bezel, that is very premium rotation. I'll explain to you what it feels like. So it's a very smooth glide between clicks and it's a very nice muted stop. So you feel the click. And it's the best 24 click bezel I've seen. It is bi-directional. And you know, that feels so good, so solid. Um, definitely a very premium feeling watch. Plenty of grip with that bezel. It is fully brushed as well. And you notice that most of the watch is fully brushed. And they've done that, you know, thing that I love that when watchmakers do it on the cases, you've got these beveled polished highlights around those lugs, uh, which just kind of scream, you know, great quality, great aesthetics. Um, you've got really nice elongated lugs, circular brushing present, and a very clean and crisp transitional line between that beveled polished edge, the lugs and the side of the case. Now, moving on to the side of the case, everything is brushed, circular brushing on the ends of those pushers. Now, you've got an engraved S uh, on the crown, slightly different than what we've seen, but still not what I'm after. I want more of an S like they've used on the Suges logo, and I think that'll just be perfect. Um, but yeah, that finishing flows across the whole case, satinized brushing, and I really like seeing those polished details on fully brushed watches. Now the crown is extremely functional, very good size, great grip in the gloves that I'm wearing, I'm finding no difficulty at all. You pull it out once, the movement will not hack, the ST1901 does not have that function. The crown functions great, now the pushes do require quite a firm click to get the chronograph seconds hand running. Um, you know, great legibility and you can just see the point I made earlier about the length of that seconds hand. Pause it again and reset, wait for everything to snap back. Now, when you turn the case over, they've gone for a see-through case back. And, you know, they do that for a lot of their watches. 
of course it only gives you around about 50 meters of water resistance but it's not a dive watch uh, and it's definitely more than splash proof and you'll see you know the blued screws the gold cogs and you'll see that column wheel construction and these movements are awesome for beginner watch collectors it allows you to see the inner workings of course you've got that swan neck regulator there and Suges was the first brand that introduced me to st1901 or mechanical chronograph uh, watches because if you were to go to the mainstream brands you'll have to spend a hell of a lot more just to kind of get that experience now the watch does come on a very soft supple fine grain leather strap you've got some padding along the top uh, it is very supple as i said quite flexible you've got contrast stitching on there uh, and this watch will obviously you know suit a perforated aviation style uh, strap where you've got wider logs we've got a wider top end and it kind of tapers down um, but this strap is okay if you look at the stainless steel buckle you've got a guest sign there got some brushing going across the top polishing along the sides uh, quite nicely done does feel great uh, and as i said the strap is very flexible it does come with quick release spring bars due to having no drilled lugs and i think what sets everything off is the use of that top hat sapphire crystal a very low top hat style nothing which protrudes too much you do have air coating on the underside and uh, nothing excessive which gets in the way of that dial you can just see that blue tinge around the outside of that crystal uh, yeah this watch just just looks right fits right uh, it comes in a few different colors it comes with a green and a blue and it also comes with a bronze case with a blue dial and bezel now let's get this watch on wrist and let's see how it looks and give you an overview of the dimensions also now here's the Suges S423 on my six and a half inch wrist now I've spoken very highly about this watch no doubt this watch is incredibly well built and I think the people who've bought this can say the same things I'm sure it's not just this example which is executed so well now the problem I have is a very subjective problem and that's due to the dimensions you've got a 42 millimeter case which isn't too bad at all but where this becomes kind of problematic is that log to log you've got a 50 millimeter log to log and as i said you've got kind of elongated logs where you do have a bit of a gap between the case uh, and the strap uh, they do go out a bit long i know it's necessary for the case shape and the watch is homaging it is subjective because it's down to wrist size so guys with wrists like seven and a half inches and above won't have any issue it should fit really well because you do have a bit of downturn to the case however People like myself with a six and a half inch wrist, I mean, any smaller, definitely forget about it. I don't think I can pull this off, maybe just about, but it's where you see the log tips kind of sticking out. Um, I, I think this is the issue. Now, BP, the Air Command, they did release that in a 38 millimeter also. So I'm hoping to guess, you know, after, you know, they make a few sales of these models, that they do come back with a 38 millimeter case and that's something i definitely get i definitely wear um i've been waiting to kind of keep hold of the just the right um st1901 watch um and i believe this would definitely be it because you know as a dive watch fan it does kind of satisfy that uh, especially with that bezel i know it's not a dive bezel however you know you've got a bezel there which rotates and it's a superb rotation but you've also got great looks, uh, you know, some margin great watch as well. And it's probably the best pilot watch that I've seen uh, that I definitely would wear. Just to reiterate some of the points I made earlier, I am very impressed with how well they've done this watch. I think every element, they've absolutely nailed it. The only thing I can say is, again, subjective, and that's down to my wrist size. But if you've got a much bigger wrist, you can definitely enjoy this watch. Uh, so very impressed. I'd say it's definitely the best you guessed I've handled to date. I can't find a single issue with it. Um, you know that's objective or something that is objective uh, something they should improve but i think it's great i mean the only thing i would say just to kind of keep it balanced is just the pushers you know if they kind of done a different design moved away from these you know basic pushers that they use on more or less every watch uh, i think that would make it perfect but other than that you know there really isn't anything to complain about uh, so that's it for me today guys i hope you enjoyed that review thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video